Today we are demonstrating our QPSK low latency modem, which is a custom software and firmware package we loaded onto two Crimson TNG software defined radios. We will demonstrate the modem in loopback mode on a single Crimson TNG unit, as well as between two Crimson TNG units hooked up to two host systems running our web user interface. Each unit is fed a 10 MHz signal and very accurate 1 pulse per second reference. The external clock we are using is the Trimble Thunderbolt, and it is GPS synchronized through a GPS antenna to ensure high timing accuracy. Our first demonstration requires configuring the modem manually in the web UI, where we send a modulated signal from Crimson's transmit channel A to receive channel A. In this case, we are making our modulated payload the hexadecimal value BC, and modulating it onto a 10 MHz carrier at a bandwidth of 10 kHz. We also need to enable the receive channel A and then set up the expected payload value of BC. As well, we need to configure the radio front end, carrier frequency, and bandwidth. Once this is all set up, we start to see the match packet counter increase. Alternatively, we can run a simple program which configures the radio receive and transmit functions automatically in the web UI. Once again, we can see the match packet counter go up. This indicates, of course, we were receiving packets. Our second demo will be to use two Crimson TNG devices on two host systems, one for each Crimson TNG and its web user interface. We will transmit from the bottom unit's transmit channel A to the top unit's receive channel A. Note also we are using 90 dB of attenuation to demonstrate the high sensitivity of the device. To start, we make sure the first host system's web user interface is transmitting the payload packets. After setting up the first unit's transmit chain, we ensure our second host system's web UI is receiving the corresponding payload packets. Note how the packet counter quickly responds to a change in the value of the expected payload. There is very little latency in the amount of time it takes the packet counter to respond to these changes. That's all for this demonstration. Thank you very much.